Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston and in this, this tutorial we're going to be talking about threads. Now every application you make runs on what's called a thread. Now sometimes you have to make more than one thread to run certain parts of your application. So if you remember from using multiple forms as objects, if you open up your main form and that's loaded and then you click a button and it opens up a second form if you close out of your main main form it's going to end the thread that the application is on and the entire thing is going to close all of your windows are going to close now what you can do is you can put each one of those windows on a different thread and that will make it so that the application will not close um, if you close the main form that is uh, on the thread the main thread for your application now uh, you don't have to create the thread yourself. Um, it's already made on one thread when you create an application, but you can add on more if you want. So let's go ahead and make a project and do a little demo application to show what threads can do. So let's go ahead and select a Windows Forms application and we will call it Threads. Okay, so now that our app has loaded, let's go ahead and resize the form some and add some controls. So we'll come over here to our toolbox and we will add a button and we will set the name of the button to, or we'll set the text to start new thread and we will set the name to button thread okay so let's double click on this to open the event handler for it I uh, will get rid of form one load because we don't need that so we'll just zoom in some here okay so let's go ahead and create a thread up here so we'll start off by declaring it private So we'll have private my thread as system dot threading dot thread. Now you can also import system dot threading so that you don't have to type this out every single time you want to create a new thread. So now let's go down here and we will create we will say my thread equals new thread and or new system dot threading dot thread and we need an address so we will just type address of and it says creates a delicate delegate procedure instance that references the specified procedure so basically what we're going to do is we're going to tell it um, what to run on that thread so let's go ahead and create that so we'll do private sh sub show message and we'll do um, message box dot show I am on thread and then we'll just do my thread and now what we need to do is we need to sleep that thread because if we didn't or no we don't because it's showing a message box the thread will um, automatically uh, be destroyed once we click OK so we're going to do address of show message okay so we created the thread we set it equal to a new thread with the address of the sub show message so now what we can do is we can come down here and we can type my thread dot start and what this will do is it'll start our thread and as soon as we click OK, it won't have anything else to do, so that thread will close. So let's go ahead and start debugging. Okay, so here is our Form 1 right here. So let's go ahead and click Start New Thread. 
and you can see that it says I am on thread my thread now I'll just show you um, in the task manager here looks like it wasn't showing up in the task manager but what this does is when we start the new thread it opens up a new thread right here and if we close out of that you can see that this message box is now running on a new thread and it will continue running um, without the need for form one to be open so I'll just go ahead and click OK and close out of that so threads are kind of a hard um, concept to grasp so go ahead um, create some thread threads like this um, just do them with an address of a sub or a function and later on we'll be getting into more advanced uh, types of threading but for now just practice this and then once you got that down go ahead and move on to the next tutorial